What is going on everyone? Happy Wednesday. I hope you guys have all been having an amazing day, but let's go ahead and get right into today's recap. And as you guys can tell from the thumbnail, today was a red day for me, right? Overall on my account, it was a very big red day, right? So down over $600. The main reason for that is trading wise, I didn't do too hot. As you guys can see, I only traded SQs today. I lost $314. So a little over 1% I ended up losing on the day. So this is putting me red on the week right so i was down about 168 dollars on monday i made 224 dollars yesterday and today i am down 314 so i am down about 260 270 on the week somewhere around that range and so i have the you know remaining two days to try to make the most of it but as you guys can see the other stuff that contributed to my losses was mainly tesla right as you guys can see it is actually down quite a bit for me and if we actually go ahead and look at Tesla itself, right, what we'll notice is that it actually ended up reporting earnings and it ended up shooting all the way down, right? So from where it closed that, right, um, at, in the market session, it ended up dropping about almost 7%. So although that is a big amount, right, on the larger time frame, I am just happy that it is pulling back in the sense that I can buy back more shares at a cheaper price. Right, because I am super bullish on Tesla and I see lots of potential in the company. So the fact that it is pulling back and that I'm not so heavily invested in it makes me, you know, excited that it is, even though I am losing money, although it's dropping, I can buy back in more at these lower levels, right? Since I do have more cash available. But as far as how, you know, my trading ended up going, I really messed up today, right? And the main reason for that is as you guys can see, since market open market was pretty much shooting up all day and I was the idiot trying to predict where SQQQ was gonna finally end up you know shooting up the way I thought it would but the Nasdaq never ended up selling off quite as I expected right so um, why do I think I made such a big mistake today well it was definitely just down straight up due to emotion right I wanted a certain you know direction to end up playing out but that's not what ended up happening and I should have realized right that direction wasn't going the way I hoped and so rather than do that I should have shifted my focus on TQQQ for the day rather than just be so ignorant right and try to force profit on SQQQ but the main reason why I think I messed up is as you guys can see just zooming out on the bigger time frame the Nasdaq itself had, has had a support around this general area two times before Right. And so heading into today, I thought we were going to break below and continue to sell off or that or, you know, once we did bounce here, once we did start to sell off, I thought we, this was going to, you know, eventually make a new low and we were going to continue selling off. But it was very naive of me to think that, you know, what I wanted to happen, you know, had to happen. Right. It's obviously no like certainty. Right. When it comes to trading in the stock market. And so the fact that you know, I am so ignorant, ignorant at times and so one sided really makes me, you know, not traded so effectively as you guys see today, right? So clear, clear signs of a bounce, right? The past two times we've been here. And so once I saw that we were validating it as a support, right, we're no longer making these lower lows and lower highs, right? We are more trading sideways, consolidating, right? We bounced, try to test the new or, or the previous support, right? It didn't end up actually breaking below. So once we did end up bouncing, right? This was validation that we were actually use, validating it as a support yet again. And right, as soon as market opened, this thing ended up shooting up, pulled on back, right? But for the most part, anytime it pulled on back, it you know ended up ripping back up the EMA, but even higher than it did before, right? So if I just put you know my emotions aside and you know and all my bias aside and really you know, noticed what was actually going on, right? Right. Since market open, we ended up shooting up, right? Trying to test this as a potential, you know, rejection, but we actually didn't end up making new lows. And so I should have seen that, right? And as soon as this thing started to break above and make new lows or new highs, I should have cut my losses on SQs and focused on TQQQ, right? Because once we did validate it as a support, there was obviously some room it had to push up. I didn't necessarily know it was going to push up as high as it did, but it definitely made sense that, you know, there'd be a potential resistance around this area. But even that alone, there was definitely still, you know, room and margin for this thing to push up. So that's really where I messed up, 
rather than trying to predict where this thing was going to potentially going to get rejected and change direction and sell off, right? I should have just been going with the flow, right? Going with direction and the fact that it was confirming it as a bounce, right? And just read, written TQQQ all the way up. It would have been way easier on me, right? Rather than, you know, have over a 1% loss today. I could have started to recover what I lost on these, you know, a few fault fake outs, right? On SQQQ, I could have started to recover on TQs. And so huge mistake for me. Right on the day, definitely need to learn to stop being so one-sided and realize that if something's validating itself as a support, no matter how much I want it to fall, right? I need to put that aside and, you know, focus on trying to make money right on the way as it starts to push on the way up. So that's definitely, you know, something I'm going to try to learn from heading into tomorrow and Friday. And I hope you guys all learn something from it as well. But other than that, I did want to mention that tomorrow, as you guys can see, right, there are going to be a few reports that are released right before market open, right, the initial claims and continuing claims. So that's for, you know, people reporting unemployment, unemployment for the first time versus, um, you know, week after week. And so that's going to be an hour before market open at 830 Eastern Standard Time, right? And so we will see movement, right, and see it react an hour before the market opens. So if you did want to see that movement, go ahead and, you know, wake up an hour earlier and check it out. But otherwise, I will be trading tomorrow at market open and I will be posting a recap. And I hope to see you guys then. Take care. Thank you guys so much and have a good rest of your day.